Farmer Nick here. Welcome back to another video at Farming Simulator 2019 or Farming Simulator 2019. My bad. I don't like the word 2019. But anywho, we got the Case 185 uh, Pluma here and the Coon Baylor. And Matthew over there is he's got the 4640 and the Bale Stacker. He's stacking bales and we're bailing them. A little lag here all of a sudden. This area always has lag. Tried making a video here earlier and it, we were lagging really hard. Right. Hope everything gets kind of smooth. We're not coming back over here. This spot over here, we're gonna leave it till later. These windrows are a little tough, so the straw is a little tough, so we're not gonna come back. To this specific spot and get these windrows here um, we're gonna zip over the across kind of the laneway that we uh, picked yesterday that bigger field we're gonna pick that big field we picked only the headlands I guess so we got a little bit of left of wheat to harvest here and then we're gonna be done with the wheat and then we're gonna switch over to beans here finally so that's gonna be awesome where we got to go in right in here so I've already came up here once with the baler. Because I've already bailed the other strips and I already got all that other stuff done. So this is kind of be a little interesting because I never really harvested this thing. So I don't know how the windrows and everything are going to be. And Matthew didn't harvest it either. It was uh, Noah the other night. So we'll have to see how good of an operator he is. Hopefully these windrows aren't the bad. Too bad, I guess. Um, Matthew might have to come here with the windrow. Or we'll see if we can't get her. Turned a little too sharp there. These can, are going to be a pretty interesting bunch of windrows here. So we're only going to do a bit of bailing of straw here today. We're not, our main feature is not going to be straw, or uh, main game plan here today is mostly getting all of the uh, hay and stuff off. So I'm going to have to hope and see if this map isn't too laggy. I do apologize guys. I'm going to try and fix some stuff. And I'm just going to keep messing with stuff on this map. Back it up and get over here. Pick this windrow up. Cut this bad boy around. Up we go. Seems to be less laggy in here for me, so I'm going to run kind of inside the cab. I do apologize, guys, that I'm not showing you guys much, but this is where it seems to be not lagging. When I'm out of, when I'm out of the cab, it seems like I'm lagging a ton more. I don't know what it is, but we're just going to kind of... You can see more. You can see a lot more of the ground where it's lagging. Because I'll show you up here, this kind of repair shop has stuff stuck in the ground. So I might pull this map up in the editor and delete all that and get rid of it. We'll have to see, but I think that might be the easiest way and see if it will uh, get rid of some of the lag here for us. Because this lag is gonna be annoying. So we're gonna do that maybe, we'll have to see. Let me know what you guys think of the lags coming from. But I'm not really sure, because I know there's I think it's just like the objects. I think there's a lot of objects stuck in the ground when I came to run over here. Back this baler up. This case tractor hardly has enough power to run this big baler here. So we might have to put the big uh, 8R on here shortly to pull her up and down these other big nice hills over here after when we get there. Well, apparently we can go 12 mile an hour down the hill, but I we can't go 12 mile an hour up the hill. I bet we can maybe go 4. I was struggling over there in some rows that I could was going like 4 or something like that. So I'll have to see how things go. Hope for the best, you know? Yeah, no. Yeah. So Matthew kind of yeah. has a farmyard that... Whereabouts is your farmyard, I wonder? 
we'll show you guys it. So he kind of bought this plot of land over here. I think this is going to be like his little farmhouse where he's living. Just because he's always on here and he wants to kind of have some land so we can... We'll go do that off camera, but he'll probably go and harvest that itself. We'll probably just run the grain cart or something, take the trucks over. Because he doesn't going to buy any equipment because I told him. Because if you want, I can just come use the combine grain cart and stuff with the sense of him buying a little combine just for his little 20, 15 acre little bit of field over there he's got. So he might as well just use our equipment for that little time being. It's not going to hurt us. There you go. More economical. You got it. Because that's what a lot of people are doing. It seems like bigger farmers are partnering, or little farmers are starting to partner with bigger farmers that have all the equipment and storage and just kind of use their stuff, I've seen. It's pretty common in a little well, bit. Well, I know, area. like, there, there are a few people around that, like, have gone and bought land and they just, like, contract everything out. I don't know how they're making any money off of it, but. I don't think anyone knows. <laughs> Maybe just for fun. Yeah. We're not going to get that corner cleaned up too pretty. I'll have to get the nice cultivator out and we'll have to cultivate this stuff up pretty good. But I think it's going to be alright. We're just going to kind of half-ass bale it. Get the much straw as we can. I'm hoping we're going to have enough straw at the end or we might have to turn around and not get as many cows as I'm hoping. Because I'm hoping to get about 30 head of cattle going so far to start right off the bat. To just get everything brought up. Um, we're going to have to chop quite a bit so... We'll probably end up doing a live stream of us chopping the corn on here. One of these days. Probably the end of this week, maybe Friday or so. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how things go. Yeah, man. Got a full load in that 4640 there? Always do. she pulling her good? Yeah, she's pulling her. And road gear. Oh, road gear, hey. Yeah. How fast is that? 26? 22? 21. Oh, that's pretty close. You are in the baler in a bit there, Matthew? Huh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he likes the case. That's the thing. So we're just going to keep her going up and straight down after we got these little dinky rows, we might as well just go straight through the waterways and get them, because it's not going to hurt anything, a little bit of grass in the straw. See here, she's uh, pulling hard right here. But this baler, in real life, this baler would be pretty darn heavy, so it is going to struggle a little bit up these hills. I know 7R even kind of struggled up some hills on uh, Ravenport there. Field 9 and 10 and 11, we noticed she was really whining for power one of the nights, so I was, little, chip in her. Yeah. I was a little iffy on uh, putting this guy on the baler just for the sake of it. Is he going to have enough no. power? I yeah. put it on the baler, actually, so. Yeah, you actually started bailing some of this yeah. stuff this morning. So. We're just going to whiz up and down these hills like 13, 14 mile an hour. First time this tractor's probably ever gonna go this fast in the bailer down the hills. But she's gonna be pushing it down, right? You're gonna have all the weight and it's gonna be pushing down the hills. And then you guys are gonna see she's gonna struggle going up this hill. Oh, Maybe. What? Lag spike there. Whole server just had a big lag spike there. So I think this is basically going to be our last long row here. Hopefully, and then we'll get this guy done, and then we'll get this field done, then we're going to switch over, and we will start harvesting the... Uh... What you doing there, buddy? Just trying to go get bales, but just had to turn the wrong way. Where did you think I was going to go the other way? I don't know, I'm just trying to get lined up with these. It's pretty touchy. I think that bale stacker is a little, uh, needs some work done to it. 
Probably on uh, the lot. Touchy. Yeah, that tractor, I wish it had some lights on it too. That'd be another kind of good feature I wish that tractor had, but it doesn't have lights. It doesn't even have flashers, hazards, nothing. Like, it's got nothing. Only the trailers have it. That's the only thing. So you gotta just kind of pick what you do with that tractor. That tractor is a daily, like, use it all day long tractor and shut her off at dark. Because nowadays those tractors suck for the lights. You go and jump in an 8 air and then you want to go jump in like an old 4640 and you're like, uh, yeah, you can drive this. Not that bad. Have you sat in a new R? Oh, we have our newer 8000 series, not an 8R, but... You better just sit in an R, turn the lights on, then you tell me about her. I tell you, there's a heck of a lot of difference. Just because most everything's newer LEDs and stuff, right? So. HI LEDs, right? Yeah. So they're all... There's they're... probably something different in those now, actually. <laughs> they're probably changing them every, every day. They're probably making something different, you know, how everything is. They gotta change everything. They don't like keeping it the same. <coughs> they like improving it. Yeah. So, it's so whatever. Well, it looks like it's starting to snow outside, finally. <laughs> Could use some snow. Days. Yeah, it snowed like less than an inch, so. Oh, not much. The other day. Yeah. Oh, Ben, he'll be out there with the snowblower if he had that much. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, Benny Girl. Yeah, Benny Girl was the one that uh, recorded the farm tour stuff for us, so. If you guys are curious about Ben, that's who Ben was. Alright, so we're going to jump in this last little bit of a row up here. Matthew, he's going to keep picking bales up, and we're going to go hammer wheat out, and then... We'll take the grain cart along across the road and we'll fill it up as well. So, we'll get everything hopefully full. I know I can only go about halfway and then I'm full on those strips over there, so I'm probably going to need you to come here in a bit. Alright. So, zip up here like 32 mile an hour. Stick this guy probably up by that bin for now and sh leave it running just because it's warm. This tractor just got a lot. This baler runs pretty hard on this tractor and She's just a little warm, not cold. Better take her out of the field. Probably a good idea. Let's run this guy up here for now. Stick him sitting right there. Now let's go right on the 9870 and we'll uh, sneak out across the road and we'll go harvest the rest of the wheat. Might as well warm this 8R up here. It's a little chilly, so I might as well warm it up for my view here. He's got a nice warm seat for him when he gets in. He'll appreciate that one. I thought I was keeping up with you pretty well, but... <laughs> I don't <laughs> think... <laughs> Not no more. I don't think there's too many cars, but I'm going to turn our flashers, rotor beacons on, and we're going to sneak across this road right here in the weeds. There's nothing been in here. I've already snuck through here a few too many times. Not my first time sneaking through this plot of uh, wheat. Crank the reel up and let's rut her up. Let her at her. So let's make these windrows as straight as possible just for the sake of it so they are easy to Windrow, I guess it was on blowing it all out for some reason. Don't know why. It probably resets every time you get in and out of the game. It probably what? does the straw chopping and all that stuff. You know if that does reset? Because apparently I got in here and it was on chopping instead of laying the windrow. I don't know, man. Couldn't tell you. I'll have to just keep experimenting. Do you guys know any much about that stuff? You guys got 19.2 now? They've had it for like over a month. Two months. Two months, yeah. Two months. So, yeah. Hopefully, we can get this all. This head's like a 40 footer. Yeah, it's about a 40 footer. Just 
because I can tell by the two uh, reels together. If she was all one, she'd be a 35, but it's two different ones, so it's a 40. That's how I can tell. Pretty quick and easy, just because it's not like the old deer. I don't even think it says anything on the side. No, it doesn't. So that's how I can tell pretty quick how uh, the width, because I can tell by the reel most of the time. But when you get to a big one, then she gets a little complicated. So let's watch some in-game. Let's watch the inside of this cab. Uh, it's pretty much like the one we, sh pretty much the exact same cab in real life here. I'm um, not too big of a fan on the steering wheel thing here, but it's gonna be okay, I guess. It's better than nothing. But I really like how they made the window so big back here, so you can see everything. There's a nice feature right there they got done, so. Yeah, there's a lot of good features about this combine here. We're gonna have to try and hook this all. We're not gonna get her all. Let's back up and get over. Looks like the eight hours behind us here too. So we'll probably have to, we might be able to get her. I don't know how far, well this thing still goes a ways back in here yet too. Because it snakes quite a ways back in here and then comes back around eventually. So These are kind of a nice snake, windrow, kind of contour strips. They're kind of nice, fun, unique. It's not too many maps. There isn't any maps out there like this. This is kind of the first contour strip farm out there right now. Autumn Oaks is probably going to get converted here shortly, I imagine. No, I it's it's in 19. They're just they haven't going through it. bugs and stuff. Look at that nice 8370R, you just pulling that nice Kenzie 1051 grain cart around. A little wide here. Might have to come back and get most of this. Should have gotten the 45 footer. I should have. It's only 5 feet wider, you know, and it's a little bigger for our, too big for our farm here. Back up and get these little bits so we don't have to keep coming back around because we'll make it simple on us. Drop this bad boy down. I'm not too sure why there's a fire extinguisher down there. That's not a good spot for it, I'd say that much, but it's a little weird. I just noticed that fire extinguisher there too. Maybe that's the only place that they could find to put it. Well, they got one on the ladder. Maybe that one's been used. Maybe it's been used. <laughs> what a guy. Kind of in a weird spot, but whatever. <laughs> Hopefully we can get the rest of this. Don't have to come back around and unload. But we may be able to get to the end of this field, but it's going to be tight. I'll have to see. There isn't really much room to unload or coming around. So we either have to cut a patch out or just unload at the end. If, we, if we're going to make it to the end, I think we might as well just unload. And that way we don't have to cut a patch out for Matthew to come and unload us. But this is looking a little wide up here, in my opinion. Yeah, another wide corner. Holy smokes, this field just keeps going around. Some bagger up. We're gonna take half of this just because we're gonna have to come back and get some of this stuff. Holy smokes. I thought you were a pristine combine operator. Why? Would have gotten that all in one pass, man. How much farther is there to go? You might as well come back and get that. Yeah, it's a good junk to go yet. Not too much. 
Another wide spot probably there and there, but that's it. Looks like Noah over here missed a few chunks. Back up and get that a little bit. Every uh, bushel counts, you know. Alright. Whatever you say, dude. Drop this bad boy in here and let's get her. Back it up. Either I wish they would have made these strips so she's all one around. We might bring the planter back and make it so it's two widths of the planter and not hoopty doopty corners here and there. I think that's probably a good idea to just kind of get these turns all nice and round so we don't have these little games to play with. Back up, go ahead. here but we should be able to get her looks about 41 feet or so I think we're finally soon going to be at the end of this uh, strip here, finally. But these are some pretty uh, long strips around. Is she going to get her all, boys? I don't know. No. What were you saying? <laughs> it was r real life you would not have gotten that all. Oh no. This head is a little bit wider than what the actual green table is. Like it actually is a little bit wider. It's kind of weird but... It's whatever I guess. This one I know we're not going to get. Well. Yeah. Here, I'll just take care of it. Nice thing about crop construction there. You can just drive over and get rid of it. If it's even on. It is. It's just that the ADAR doesn't. You have to do it with the cart. It's kind of finicky. Well, as a backup, and unload on Matthew here, because that field's going to be a long one around. Turn this reel off and wait. It's going to be a bit waiting. Then he's probably going to run that over to the truck, or the wagons, I don't know, but didn't you say those wagons didn't work? Like you can, you can't unload them into that what we have for the grain complex. So I don't know. I don't know. I have to try them out and make sure they do work. But I'm thinking they like should. You can, you can unload them anywhere, but I just can't get them to unload in the uh, grain complex. All right. Yeah, that kind of is like modded greenplex, so it's pretty uh, nice. That's why we got it. it kind of suits this farm pretty good. So yeah. Watch the grain unload. This is nice. Like, it's the width of the screen here. It's kind of awesome. 
He'll drive out. And we'll follow him kind of out. We'll be done with her. Alright, this is going to take some time here. What do you got? 25% or something in that? Yeah, I'm just going down to the other end and waiting for you. Awesome. So he's going to go down the road take so we don't compact the uh, field any more than we have to? Just for the sake of it, you know. So this is a nice, wide, goofy kind of a one. So this one isn't going to be like the rest of them, how it's going to be different. This one's a little wide up here, and then looks like it wants to slowly narrow in a little bit. So we'll just keep harvesting away. I think it's actually going out where it's supposed to. I know uh, the John, or not the John here, but the Case Axiflow series, it was a little uh, weird how they had that thing set up when they, it was blowing out and stuff. I did say it was a little too weird than what it should have been. It's kind of nice. I kind of like working against the trees. It's kind of nice. Um, these trees, I know you cannot cut them down because I've already tried clearing some trees around the main farm and I could not cut them down at all. So I was kind of a little bit disappointed about that because I felt like the farmyard was so bunched in together that it wasn't, there's too many trees around there. Like you couldn't see the house hardly. So there is an option if I do have time to pull this map up in Giants Editor and edit some of the spots where I think it's lagging and maybe move some stuff around a little. Maybe taking a, put another shed in here once somewhere. make some laneways better just because over at the dairy yard you guys can see how when on the flyover did the flyover in the first video um yes the day before not yesterday but the day before how you guys seen um that bit of grass in between from the highway in the laneway i got going in there's that spot in there that i cannot get gravel on it kind of sucks because that's where i think all i need to do is just get that done over there and i'm gonna probably do some row of nice spruce trees along the outside of it. Make it a nice farm kind of laneway. I don't think there's any really placeable mailboxes or any of that stuff out there yet. Is there, Matthew? I don't think so. I think there is fence. But I don't know if it works in multiplayer. That's the thing. I'll have to see if I got any fence that works in multiplayer. They made this combine, I don't know if they all do it, but I noticed this SDS series combine, the paint will wear off the green tank, the inside of the green tank eventually. There's another nice feature mm -hmm. right there. Do you notice that? What? The paint wears off the inside of the green tank. On the SDS series combine. No? Cool. I'm sorry, I'm sitting here doing some no offense. One spot there. We're not gonna back up and get that little guy. He'll be all right. No, it won't. You want me to back Every up? Bushel get it? Every bushel counts. I guess he said it once. Now he's just gonna repeat it at me now all day. Of what I started, yep. I guess. But I don't really like. I wish they had an older head in here, like a 40 footer, a 35 John Deere head, Graper. That'd be really nice. Because I really like the 45 foot head. It's really fancy and nice and detailed good, I feel like. But I wish it's just too big to start off when you're going to start off the series. Especially this size of a map or any kind of a size. It's just way too big just to go ham right into it like a 30 or a 45 foot head. So we got lots of hay strips here we can mow up. So we'll have to work on them here maybe to. I don't know, maybe next week we'll work on them. But we still got a lot of harvest and we're going to get down first. We're going to get this wheat all off and then we're going to switch over to beans and then we'll chop the corn next. So we got beans over there we got. So we're going to harvest some. I bought some more land too just so we had some bean ground to harvest. Because all we have around this area is just corn and wheat. There is some spots that have oats but I really don't want that land way over there. 
gonna be a little tough. If, if you're gonna be iffy, if we're even gonna make it to the end. We're about 80%. We'll have to see how we get her. Be nice if we did. That way we don't have to kinda swerve over. But if it, worse comes to worse, I just cut over on an angle slowly and then the Matthew drive up here and unload me, but since I don't, so we'll just we're totally gonna have to do that because I thought it went to a straight end. No, it just keeps going. Uh, kind of keeps going around on us. I see. But otherwise, this combine cab's pretty decent. Nothing wrong with it at all. Seat likes to bounce a lot. A little rough must be the field. We're at 92. It's going to be close. When we get about 96, we're going to have to cut across if we don't. I don't think I'm going to make her. See, this is... Huh. We'll have a nice windrow here to deal with, but... There we go. We'll just unload on Matthew here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the heck out of that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And don't forget to turn on post notifications. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.